Hi everybody, just PJ here with Perdita Felicien. I said that for your mom the French way because of course I'm bilingue. Do you speak French? Un petit peu, c'est très terrible, I am very bad. <laughs> Basically. It's quite terrible. That, that is terrible. You're yeah. absolutely right, but you're adorable. Okay, three quick things uh, from Perdita Felicien, two-time world champion, and just all around cool, cool, cool chick. Um, what are you doing for the holidays? I am going to be with my mom and my 13 niblets. So niblets is our nephews and nieces <laughs> together. 13 of them in my mom's house who just bought a house, just moved in. There's boxes everywhere. So basically a gong show. So you are on deck to help uh, unpack? Do you have to cook? You know what, I haven't cooked yet, and I have been unpacking, and I've basically made her space look totally beautiful, totally modern, because she's stuck in, I think, 1992. <laughs> she's stuck there. She doesn't want to throw away figurines of roosters and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm totally trying to help this woman. I know, and you know, you can then come to my house. My kids will tell me it's just a complete gong show at my house, too. My son-in-law's off to there, but we won't say anything what, there. What year are you stuck in? <laughs> yeah, about 1984, but oh, that's okay. Even worse. I know. Um, now, the other thing that I wanted to know is you say that you love food. Are you a cook? Are you an eater? Are you both? Tell me about your favorite food. Oh, PJ, food. Do you have time on? Do you have enough uh, data on this? Yeah, thing? absolutely. Um, Unlimited. Okay, good. I love. I love food. I can cook. I'm a mean cook. I can. I can grow up. I'm not a good. I'm not good at pastries and things like that. But I can. I can cook any gourmet meal. You name it. I love to cook. Exactly. Wow. Don't sleep on me. Wife me up. Um, <laughs> but. <laughs> But I love to eat, I love sweets, but as an athlete they tell you don't eat sweets, don't eat that. So I think part of it is an obsession, like I want what I can't have. Um, but I'm the type of girl that if I didn't have my sport, then I would be eating everything, I'd be going crazy. So tell me, um, do you still run every so often just for exercise? Yeah, I run every day, I train every day, but I, I don't do any long running or any distance running. It's all like programmed and hurdling stuff and weightlifting. Oh, like okay. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you are in absolutely sensational shape. So it's just Thank a question you. of keeping it. Yeah, right? you have to keeping keep it, it and keep maintaining it. And a lot of athletes, you know, they, once they stop their sport, they don't detrain. It's really important to detrain and always kind of maintain that kind of lifestyle. So you've been, you've said, you stopped counting at 22 countries. If uh, you had a chance to holiday anywhere where you've already been, where would that be? Oh, PJ, you come with the good questions, girl. <laughs> um, that is hard to, to answer because... Oh, I like to go places I haven't been. A place that I've already been is, okay, I'll cheat on this question. I love I love Stockholm, love that place. Yes. Why? I love the people, I love the culture, I love the way the language sounds. Uh, tack, that means thank you. And um, I love, <laughs> I just, there's something about them that I love. I went to the ice bar in Stockholm, you know, where you, the vodka yes. place, where you yes. had to wear the, mm -hmm, I went there with my tail off, I went out, I came out after 10 minutes. Love it there, <laughs> love Paris. One for the croissants, oh my God, you can get a croissant on every corner. Love the Tour Eiffel, which is the Eiffel Tower. And I absolutely, absolutely love just, again, French, the way the language sounds. Um, I'm fluent in Franklish, which is, you know, French and English broken. Um, <laughs> but that, that's about it. Those are the two places I think I'd go again. And where you have not been, where would you like to go? I want to go to, I want to go to Egypt. Yeah. And I want to go to um, South, I've been, been to Brazil, but probably Peru and South America. That's where I want to go. Do you want to climb the, whatever, yeah. the Andes? There. Whew. No, no. Uh-uh. <laughs> That's one thing I don't do. I don't hike and climb mountains, and I don't jump out of perfectly um, good airplanes. That's two <laughs> things you will not find me doing. Although my friend did say we should hike Kilimanjaro, which I don't think it's cold, so I would maybe attempt that mountain. It's uphill, though. You know that, right? Ooh, it's not straight? It's no, not, apparently okay, not. No, then I'm, count me out. I'm done. <laughs> Um, and what are you doing these days? Last question. Um, you know what? Getting ready for the holidays. And, you know, I'm not going till 2016, but I think I, you know, I still want to run for another couple seasons. So just kind of getting my ducks in a row and trying to break in also on the television media end of things. So I'm trying to have two day jobs, essentially. That is fantastic. Thank you for talking to me. My pleasure.